Hey, it's Angel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Pixel Smart HUD 2024 edition. Let's get started. After purchasing the HUD system, you'll want to res out the boxed object. Click on the box to open up the dialog. Next, click Copy to Inventory. You will receive a folder named Pixel Smart HUD boxed that contains all the scripts needed to make your HUD. Before we begin, we have to make important changes to the properties of your scripts. We will have to make them copy only. Go ahead and right click on the config HUD script and select Properties. Then change it to copy only. You will want to do this for four scripts. The config HUD script the config receiver script, the smart HUD root HUD script, and the smart HUD root receiver script. Next, let's go ahead and get our license key code. Find the license validator object and res it onto the ground. Click on it and you received your license key in your local chat. Only you can see this. Copy it and go into your config HUD script. Find the line that says integer license code equal and paste your license key after the equal sign. Press save. Then open up the dot config receiver script. Then find the same integer license code equal line and paste your license key after the equal sign. Press save. Now we can move on to setting up our HUD. If you don't know how to design your HUD, there are plenty of YouTube videos that are available to help you. I suggest Toxic Ryan's video. I'll link it in the description box. Before we set up our HUD, we want to first identify the front face of our HUD. Go ahead and res out a pro. Going back into the Pixel Smart HUD boxed folder, you want to locate this script called Face Identifier. Go ahead and drag it into your perm's content. It will then change the front face to the red color as you can see. Then it will automatically delete the script itself. A lot of people have been running into an issue where their customers will attach the HUD and it will automatically rotate to the next page or an invisible face. This is because this red face is the front face of the HUD. This is the front face that your customers will see when they attach your HUD. If you've chosen to manually rotate your HUD just like this, and then put in your scripts afterwards, the scripts will automatically rotate your HUD for you. This can cause issues for your customers where they will attach your HUD and the HUD will automatically rotate for them. So it's always important to res out a perm first and then locate the face identifier script Place it into the perm's content and see which face is the front face. Now, let's go ahead and go into setting up our HUD. I have a HUD that is ready to go. Let's check it out. When making your HUD, you'll want to have buttons that change the textures of your items. First, make a button for your HUD. All texture buttons will be named starting with a bracket, followed by the word texture in all caps, and then ending with a bracket. In the description, you'll want to have an identifier. I prefer a letter and a number. This has helped me organize and configure my HUD with ease. For example, the first page or first section are all A's with different ending numbers, starting with 1, 2, 3, and so forth. So my first button is A1, second one is A2, A3, A4, A5, so on and so forth if you're confused. Second page or second section would be all B's with different ending numbers in order, starting with 1 and so forth. After you've finished inputting all of the descriptions for your texture buttons, now it's time to set up your mesh. Res your mesh and give it a name. I'll name mine Pixel01. After doing that, you'll want to res out a perm and make it small. This perm will be linked with your mesh. To do this, first select your mesh and then the perm. Click Link. Now the perm is the parent and the mesh is the child. This is indicated by the outlines. 
parent is outlined in yellow and child is outlined in blue. This is important because you need to be the owner of the mesh. Next, you can rename it to whatever you want your customers to see. Make sure to change the properties to copy only. Now, let's start scripting our HUD. Now, select your HUD and go back to the Pixel Smart HUD folder. And now we're going to drag the config HUD script into the contents of our HUD. Let's go ahead and open up the script. Find where it says product name and input a name within the quotation marks. It does not have to be the same name you use to name your mesh. This is what the HUD uses to communicate with objects that contain the config receiver script with the same product name. I'm going to give it the name Tutorial01. Next is inputting your textures into the script. What if I told you there was an easier and faster way to input your textures into the script? Whether you have 20 or 50 textures, this workflow is pretty easy. Before we get started, you want to make sure your textures are named in order. I use numbers to organize my textures based on my HUD. For me, black is one, the next color is two, and so on and so forth. This will make this workflow 10 times easier. After you name your textures in the same order as it is on your HUD, let's raise out a perm. Going back into the Pixel Smart HUD folder, there is a script called Texture UUID List Generator. Drag that into the content of the newly resed perm. Next, drag your textures into the content. Then close out the edit tool and click on the perm. It will generate all your textures and the order you've numbered them into the format that the script can read. Only you can see this. Go ahead and copy the first line all the way to the last line of your texture. You'll then want to download Notepad++. I'll have it linked in the description. It's free and adds ease to this workflow. With Notepad++ open, paste your texture codes. Now it's time to make a few adjustments. Press Ctrl H to open up the Replace menu. Have Match Case checked and Wraparound checked. In the Find What box, type in what you see at the beginning of each line. Or simply select this first piece of the line copy it, and paste it in the find what box. And the replace with box, leave it blank. This will remove the text and leave you with just the texture format. Go ahead and click replace all. Next, you want to copy this right here and paste it into the find what box. Then in the replace with box, you want to replace it with the name of your mesh. I named it Pixel01. Go ahead and click Replace All. Now, this is very case sensitive, so if it is capitalized, keep it capitalized, and if it is lowercase, keep it lowercase. Now it's time to identify the face you want these textures to change. If there is only one face, you can just leave it as it is, which is all. If there is more than one face, identify that face and world and find all and replace it with that face number. So I'm going to leave all because this mesh only has one face. Then in the find what box, type in button with a capital B. And with the replace with box, type in the letter of your first page or first section. Mine happens to be A, so that's what I'm going to type in. Then click replace all. Finally, in the find what box, you want to type in the less than sign, and in the replace with box, leave it empty. Click replace all, and then do the same for the greater than sign. Replace all. Once everything is done, go ahead and exit out the replace menu. Select all by pressing Ctrl A, or right click select all and then go ahead and copy this text code set. Let's head back to our config HUD script. Go ahead and right click your HUD, 
go to the config HUD script and open it. Then you want to scroll down to where it says list textures with brackets. Within that bracket, you want to press enter and then paste your texture code set. At the end of the line, you want to add a space and click save. Make sure the last line does not end with a comma. The comma indicates that there's more after this line. So if there's another line, go ahead and place a comma right here. But if this is the last and final line, there should be no comma and just add a space. Click save. Now let's drag the dot config receiver script into our mesh. Make sure edit length is unchecked. This script should go into the parent object, which is the prim. Open up the config receiver script and make sure the string product name is the same one as the config HUD name, which is tutorial 01 for me. This is also case sensitive, so it should match. Hit save. To finalize everything, go back into the contents of your HUD, drag the smart HUD root HUD script into it, and then click on your mesh and drag the smart HUD root receiver script into the contents. To really finalize everything, make sure your buttons are 100% opacity, so it's invisible and then shift click your HUD and then link it. Your HUD should be outlined yellow and your buttons should be outlined blue. Do not forget to make your perm invisible as well. Now we can go ahead and test our HUD. And as you can see, it is working properly. Voila, you're done. This is the foundation workflow of scripting your HUD using Pixel Smart HUD. These steps will be repetitive, so you'll get the hang of it sooner or later. Wow. Now let's get complicated. Let's say your object has two faces that use the same texture map. For example, this top. This top has two faces, but they both use the same texture map. So in total, there are only one texture maps for both of these faces. Let's go ahead and go into Notepad++. All you have to do is instead of replacing all with a face, add a dash after it, followed by the face number of the second face that uses the same texture. If this is confusing, let me show you. The face number for this base is one, and the face number for these nails is zero. In Notepad++, I'm going to hit Control H, and I'm going to put all and find what, and I'm going to replace it with one dash zero. It does not matter the order you put it in as long as they're both in there for this texture UUID. Then I'm going to hit replace all, and now both of these faces will change using just one texture. Now let's say your object has two faces that use two different texture maps, but you only want one button to change both of them. Simply do the same steps, but have the button letter be the same for both texture code sets. Let's go into Notepad++, and as you can see, these are two different texture code sets. Let's go ahead and open up the Replace menu by pressing Ctrl H, and in the Find What box, type in All, and then replace with the face number of both of the faces. So the base is one and the nails is zero. Then for the button letter, they both will be A. So when a customer clicks one button, both of these faces will be changed at the same time. Wow. Now let's say you want your HUD to change the textures of a top on one page and the bottom on the second page or section, but they're two separate objects. First, right click and go into edit the tool, then click edit length and click on your mesh. Then give your mesh a name. So I'm going to give this mesh the name top one, and then still an edit length, click on the bottom and give it a different name, bottom one. 
Then all you want to do is give both of these objects the same config receiver script with the same product name as the config hut. So for this one, let me go ahead and get out of edit link and make sure it's selecting the parent. Go into content, drag the config receiver script into the content. Make sure this is named according to the same product name as the config HUD, so tutorial one. And then for the bottom, drag the config receiver script into the bottom and give it the same product name, tutorial one. Hit save. Then in Notepad++, replace dest prim name according to the name of the objects. I'm going to hit Control H, copy this, and then find what box you want to go ahead and paste it. And then you want to replace it with the name top01 for me. Then in the second texture code set, you want to replace it with the bottom part of the mesh. Then for button, you want to go ahead and type in button and find what and then replace it with the letter of the page. So the first page would be A, second page would be B. And then you would do the same steps to finalize everything, remove the less than and greater sign, and then copy and paste it into the HUD, the config HUD script. Hopefully that covers the basics to the most confusing part of using Pixel Smart HUD. Now onto the buttons I have on my HUD. Extra buttons on your HUD that you can have are detach or close buttons, URLs, pages, etc. For now, I have the detach button and page buttons. For detach, you'll want to name it by starting with a bracket followed by the word detach in all caps and then ending it with a bracket. For pages, the buttons should be named starting with a bracket followed by the word go to face, no space, and then ending it with a bracket. In the description for the page buttons, you would identify what face it should go to. First page is face 4, or the front of the HUD is face 4. Second page could be face 1, depending on whether you want it to rotate left or right. Rotating right would be 4, 1, 2, 3. Rotating left would be 4, 3, 2, 1. You could have a total of 6 pages if you include the top of your HUD and the bottom face of your HUD. If your HUD isn't a square, then you are limited to only four pages. That should be all. Hopefully this video helps you. If you have any questions, message me on Discord at Fiatmon. Thank you and see you next time. Bye. After you finish putting after you finish after you finish inputting all of this to the script what the fuck?